new episode of Antique Shopping with Super Pookie and Hi, it's your boy. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I don't know what you what is your social media name? I don't have one. Oh, all right. Wait. Yep, one man's junk. Now multiple men's but one man. You got to be loyal to one man and his junk. Today we got a good score with a Vietnam War era helmet. Uh, it's an M1. That's yeah, the M1 uh, shell. It's got the uh, it's just post World War II and it's got the uh, it's got the Vietnam era strap. So yeah, we're gonna use this for a Vietnam War impression. Uh, I owe a lot of money. If I don't give it to him, he'll probably kill me. We also got a mess tin for him. Have you ever seen uh, Saving Private Ryan or one of those war movies where the enemy jumps into his foxhole and he's got to beat him to death with the with helmet? Oh, yeah, I've seen that. Yeah, you better bring me back, motherfucker. Oh, shit. All right, all right. So, yeah, we just went to an antique shop. We are in a freaking antique town. I believe this used to be an old strip club. However, it's closed now. That place closed down when gasoline was a dollar. Back when gasoline was a dollar. Like, literally a few cents. 30 cents per gallon. Good old Oral Grant. In fact, this is Route 66. I forgot to tell you guys. Oh, Route 66. Route 66 in California. Look at that. Now, we just went to that shop right there. And now we're going to go ahead and check out more to collect military stuff. Gotta get a GoPro. Hopefully, yes. That way I can just put it in my head and talk to myself. That way everyone thinks I'm a schizophrenic. I already think you're <laughs> schizophrenic. What? what? How? Yeah, but this is the one we went to. It has a lot of cool stuff. They also had World War I gators, unfortunately. Um, I want to be very conservative with my money and buy the right equipment Goddamn for... Bird. What? What? You bastard. <laughs> don't... Don't... Don't miss... Don't miss... Uh, Characterize my personality. Shut up. Whatever. Political... Old Coke stuff. This is that NBC suit I was talking about. To like for like toxins and stuff yeah for like oh my god they have an old projector right there that they do wow good stuff yeah they built this bad boy full of activated charcoal and it would absorb some of the toxins in the air for wait so you could use that in combat while being in a toxic area yeah well that's oh. essentially what it was designed for and whoa they in got case we had to go what is that over into germany again that's an alcoholic right there. Hey guys! I found Jumanji. Marine Corps caps. Hey guys, look, I found Jumanji. <laughs> oh crap. <laughs> Dude, the box is exactly the same. I do dig this whole Japanese thing displayed. Here this is horrifying. Whoa, look at that. Easy for you. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Very old dolls of from when you know when. What is that? Is that military? Uh it might be. I don't recognize it. Maybe a bread bag of some sort? No. I thought it was a Claymore bag for a sec, but... Alrighty guys, so far we haven't found anything military. Uh, besides that one store we bought the stuff from, but we're gonna take a look here. Lights on. Whoa, wow. Oh my, looks like there's an open door in the back. 1860. Still got paintings in there. I swear to God, we see something moving there. <laughs> also got bitch nigga tagged in it. Yeah, we'll give you an outer look of this abandoned building from 1860. The Bank of Oro Grande. Yeah, very nice. Imagine abandoned. What kind of desperados held this place up. Over there, all the military surpluses. Well, not military really, but uh, yeah, old stuff. Really cool. It looks hot. Yeah guys, it's like 90 degrees. So far, all we got is the M1 helmet and that mist tin. Uh, however, we haven't found anything in the other shops, so we're going to take a look at these up here. The good old roots. This place used to be a John Deere tractor uh, factory in the turn of the century. Oh shit, I didn't even know that. Yeah, I'll show you the ramp, and they used to drive the tractors up the ramp, 
and onto the entire front was a display area. And then you'd come here to buy your tractor. Yeah, there's the train. And there's the famous factory. Cement factory. I can even get to tell you how old this shit is, but as far as I can tell, it's always been here. Oh yeah, I remember that. Looking in high school. Alright. What? This is where they ran them off. There's a lot of these ammo cans in these antique shops. Some of them in really good condition, some of them in really bad. These ones are in moderate. As you can see, this one has a lot of rust. Funny looking toilet seat. <laughs> toilet plunger technology has come a long way. <laughs> Old coats. I can refill those. Take a little here. Yeah. Old coat. There's like an entire area in here full of coke bottles. Look at this. They didn't have a condom for the field telephone. Guys, we hit the mother load. They got freaking German police helmets. They got jet helmets. Even Al Gaminen. World War One. Holy moly. This right here is the jet. They even have German World War One. Holy moly. Oh, I actually need one. Medic helmet. All kind of stuff. Even that phone. Holy crap. Does it have the liner in it? Nope. 400 bucks. Uh, I know where to buy new ones. The, the liners? Holy crap! How much for the Luftwaffe helmets? I don't know. These are crazy rare. I have these are for a quarter bucks. Oh my god! I'm gonna have wet dreams about this stuff. Look at that. Seven hundred. Holy moly! Seven hundred? Yeah. Damn. Even Wehrmacht. Like an actual SS parade helmet. Wow. And maybe Volkswagen or something. Maybe. She is just, she beside herself. They went up past the picture just to get her book. We got World War One Bayonets too. A picture you can put in there. So she can kind of scrapbook it. Hey, they have a Japanese Gunto. German Canteen, 80 bucks. Oh, 160. Uh, yeah, but they are. Uh, this is Volkstorm? Spooky dress, we don't want to see that at night. Oh god. Not 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 a big fan of that. We did bump into another M1 helmet, but a little overpriced. Look, a medic carrier. Hey, here we go. See the medic thing? Yeah, it's cool. Yeah. See. It's old too. Yeah, it probably World got World War or has old. to be early World War II. Or even before. Yeah. That's the uh, MP38. East German stuff. I mean West. No, yeah, East. That's East. East. My bad. Oh, and they got a Soviet sailor cap. These knives too. If I'm not mistaken, too, that's the that's the flashlight you need for the Vietnam kit. Oh, that one? Uh -huh. They got a spittoon and a saxophone. Oh, hell yes. Saxo fender. No, a little, a lot of their stuff is overpriced. Like $700 for a Luftwaffe helmet. And IMA Militaria, you can buy those for like $200 to $300. Which is still a high price, but... Hey, right, come on, $700? Helmet's in good condition, but... $700!
Yeah. Depends how much you love it. But hey, look at all this cool stuff. canteens and stuff in here that were still in pretty good condition. Most of the stuff's like this though and it's kind of it's seen better days. That's, they got a scabbard for I don't know what sort. They want 30 bucks for this dude. 30, come on. Come on. Stop. It's time to stop. Yeah. I like the old Boy Scout style canteen. That's Boy Scout? Well the cover is. Hmm. The canteen itself is probably surplus. 1969? You got belts in there and stuff. Boy so. Scouts issued out old school military style hangers. It's for hard surplus. to get lucky here, huh? Yeah. They make it, it too. can be done though. I have. I got laid right where you're standing. No. You're lying. Can I use any of these cameras for like World War II stuff or are these two? I don't know. I'm not too, uh, I'm not too spread up on. Yeah, I don't know anything about cameras of the time. We got a lot of binoculars of the time. We could take a look at these. Looks like an M56 belt, but it's M56. Then what is it? Boy Scout? Probably. They made a lot of military-looking stuff and sold it to the Boy Scouts. Bucks ain't bad. I think I buy first. Another find. These were very popular. A private purchase with troopers and Not private sure. military contractors. They wore it on the trousers. Alright, so although we found the mother load of World War II collections in California, it was fucking overpriced. They had uh, M40 helmets, uh, Luftwaffe helmets, for like freaking 700 bucks. And online, you could get them for like 200 to 300 original. Those were original, but it seems like the store's owned by an old guy, and usually old people are stubborn. I, I ain't trying to be a dick, but yeah, a lot of it is overpriced. However, they had a Japanese original Imperial uh, medal for only 75 bucks, which is a great price. However, I'm a cheap piece of shit, so I'm, I'm, I'm going to end up buying Repro, so yeah. First thing I'm gonna buy is that Japanese Imperial uh, medal because that is a great price for it. But uh, all the German medals were worth like 300 bucks. So seeing that Japanese Imperial medal for 75 bucks only and being original is a great price. But yeah, I wonder why. I mean, those Japanese medals are more rare than the German stuff, so it was kind of a surprise. They also had a Gunto. It looked a little bit beaten up, but. I'm sure you, it's fixable. You're a Gunto. No. I'm not a Gunto. I'm an American. Anyways. Wait, where are we going next? That's it, man. That's it? That's it. This place That's it. sucks. <laughs> Alright. Well, hope you had fun. Eventually, we're going to try... I'm going to try military surplus shopping in um, San Diego. May do it this Wednesday. Um... Or next week, I don't know. Depends when I upload this. I have like freaking three vlogs I haven't freaking uploaded because like I'm so piled up on unedited videos, but god damn. Oh shit. Hey guys, at the end of the day, all that German stuff was crazy overpriced, but this was at a good deal. 22 oh, bucks. Fat material. And we got freaking fat material. Young Clay Eastwood, he was a handsome son of a bitch. Uh, I don't know if you know this, but his son is becoming a really well-known actor. He was in Fast and the Furious. Uh, what's his name? Eastwood something Eastwood? I think his name is also Clint Eastwood. No, it's not Clint. Oh, whatever. We also got some classic Coca-Colas. And what else did we got? We got the Men's 10, which I don't know where it's at. And we got the Touch original World War II gear, which is pretty cool. So, um, at the end of the day... The German stuff is overpriced, but at least we got an M1 helmet and something's better than nothing so we didn't waste time. We are in Route 66. I keep on forgetting that we are in Route 66 and that's like a historic thing. But you know, when you live next to it, it's like you get used to it. You know, it's kind of like Joshua trees. When you guys were freaking out over Joshua trees, 
And to me, it's like an everyday thing. So, you know, I forget to appreciate sometimes. Anyways, love y'all. Like and subscribe if you liked it. If you want me to do this again, I'll probably do this in, um, what's it called? Thrift shopping. We'll probably do a thrift shopping episode, which is harder to find stuff. But when you find stuff, you find it at a good price. But, uh, yeah. Love y'all. Take care.